there's the sky and the land, which is what we have here. So the big thing is to, I saw a bird over there. We're going to think about Mrs. Michelson looking at the sky for the birds. There are a few flying around, I see, and some insects too. And so what you need to do is just breathe, concentrate on your breath, and look at the sky and just think of emptiness. And we're going to do this for 10 minutes, maybe 15. And when we stop, I will clap my hands. So. And the first card that was picked was Angelos, which was temperance. So he's the water bearer balancing everything. And then, of course, in order to balance, you need strength to go to the next card, which is the card of the artist, which is the fool. One exposes oneself, one comes to last judgment, which is a release of a burden. And then after the release, one has to submit to fate. Submission, one gets the sun, which is an illumination. And of course, after the brightness, one then comes to the tower. And then there's justice, which again is sort of the fairness of everything. After the scales of justice comes the empress. So the empress is a birth card, so to the death card, which is one of transformation. So, and then, sorry? And then we have the emperor. So the emperor is sort of in charge, very logical. So that's the hermit. The hermit uh, is someone where you go into retreat. Most artists, I think the hermit relates to the fool card, which is the artist, because any artist has to do some retreat in order to make their work. And then the top card is the chariot. And this is the chariot from Delphi. And the chariot is famous in terms of the tarot cards with its action, it has some success, but the horses are going in different directions. So you have to have the strength to embrace the, the directions of the horses as you go forward. So this is what we pulled for the resonance of 